Hi everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee Break. It's pretty warm out here. It's a little cloudy. Looks like it might rain sometime. Everybody's looking good over here. Thought I better get out here and take a walk. I went to the dentist and got my, I thought it was the lower one but it was the upper one that was ready. They had a mix up with FedEx and they sent it to the wrong place, but then they finally got it. And uh, I, uh, naturally they said it might hurt some and I'd have to make an appointment and come back to have it adjusted. Well, naturally it didn't hurt while I was there, but then it started hurting a little bit ago. I got it out right now, but I mean, it doesn't really matter as much having it if I don't have the lower ones yet. But they did the mold. They had to do a mold to match up the upper with the new lower one. So I went ahead and had that done. And uh, they, you know, told me what all I needed to be doing and stuff with it, how to clean them and stuff. So. FedEx guy. So, I'm that much closer to having a full set of teeth. Feels really weird. What I like about it, like, mom's got them and hers are all... I mean, they, you can see metal on them, and then there's metal going around her tooth and stuff where it, you know, hooks on. Well, this one here is all plastic-like stuff. There's no metal on it whatsoever. Uh, so I think that's pretty neat. It's kind of, you know, you can bend it and stuff. It's not hard like the other ones I've seen, like Mom's. Hers has wires on it and all kinds of stuff, but this one has no wires or nothing. It's nice to see some teeth in my mouth. <laughs> I thought I'd get out here and walk. I got some, we got some breakfast on the way home while we were out from Hardee's. We had coupons for Hardee's. And Logan and I got the breakfast platter with sausage and Joy got her a bacon, egg, cheese biscuit. And she liked it. She wasn't gonna get anything. And I said, well, let me bring this coupon because she likes bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. I said, let me bring this coupon. Maybe you'll be hungry by the time we go. And she was like, well, I don't know. I'm not real hungry. I said, get you one. Get you, get you a biscuit anyway. And she ate it. Had to get up early this morning to go. Problem is, I can't go to sleep any earlier. You know? At, uh, at the evening. I only go to sleep when I'm basically just falling asleep. I can't just lay down and, and go to sleep really. So, if you notice I'm doing one extra lap here. I need to up my walking a little bit. And I still need to do it more than once a day. Because I need to lose some weight. Well, I lost six pounds and then I gained three back. So, uh, I don't know. Seems like it's hard to lose them and keep them off. My blood pressure still hasn't been that great. What is that? My blood work must not have been anything horribly wrong or they would have called me for sure by now. I go Friday for my um, x-rays to check about uh, arthritis and I guess I think they're checking on my osteoporosis too to see if there's any more damage. I'm a little sore, my back's sore today. I just never know what's going to be hurting me. 
Well, let's go inside here. I need some more coffee. So I've already had my breakfast, but I'm, I'm full. Usually I'm hungry while I'm doing this. So hold on just a minute. Alrighty. Hi, kitty. Got plenty of room for you up here if you want to come jump up here, kitty. All right, Tuesday, January 26th today. Currently, it's 57. I thought it was warm out there. High today, 61. Ooh. Precipitation's at 50%. Hold on just a minute. Kitty's up here now. Uh, where'd I stop at? Precipitation, 50% today. Humidity is 93%, wind 9 miles, 9 miles per hour, and air quality is 34. That's in a good range. So, it's going to be a fairly nice day if it doesn't rain. Um, I got enough questions for an Ask My Tablet today, so everybody just keep them coming in so we can keep doing it uh, more often. And uh, but I've got enough for today. What you doing, kitty? You looking for something to play with? Huh? Say. Say. You looking for some, something to play with? Is there nothing to play with here? Look. You don't want to chew on it? She usually will chew on them. Huh. Okay. Also today is the preview of the review. I'll be doing the preview of Logan's awesome snack reviews and going over the uh, nutrition facts and stuff. You can lay down. Going over the nutrition facts and we got some nice stuff, nice snacks and things to try. And I'll find a couple uh, quick food items also. Today's thumbnail is, uh, I guess you would call them, what, you see something? There's nothing on there, honey. Get back. Uh, they're called everything seasoning or whatever, the everything, it's a everything pigs in a blanket. You can see the, like, seeds and stuff on it. And they were really good. They were really good. Uh. And I fixed those that I showed yesterday, those crispy garlic and herb potatoes, the mix from Aldi. And uh, it was really good, but it's hard to get potatoes like that from being kind of rubbery a little bit, some of them. But it was still good. Um, you know, any of those mixes that have the dried potatoes, it's hard to get those just right. But it, I, I just say it was really good. And we had a nice salad last night, so it was a good meal. Something different, too. And, like I said, I got my partial. This isn't dirty or anything. It's brand new. Uh, still got some little, where they did the uh, mold thing. I'll have to get my brush thing they gave me and get this stuff. Some of that uh, stuff they used to do the mold with is in between the teeth right here. But it's amazing how far these have come. And I can tell now that it is going to, hurt a little bit I'll probably have to have them I might just wait until I go back for the uh, lower ones to have them adjust this because it's hurting back here here's what it looks like it's hurting right back here already naturally it didn't hurt me while I was in the dentist office as soon as I got home after wearing it all that time from then until home it's, it started hurting but there's no like I said there's no metal or anything it's all plastic stuff it's bendable I don't want to go crazy with it and it's amazing really so I'm gonna put them in and show you yeah I can tell it's gonna hurt a little bit back in the back but look huh don't have many on the bottom I didn't have many on the top, but that's amazing. I'll have a full smile here after I get 
the bot, the lower ones. And I don't know if they can do anything about this. All these teeth here, this is the one that sticks up is higher because that's where they used to be. I've eaten so much with my front teeth, I've, I've chipped all these teeth. And it's been a long time. It's been over a year, I know. And uh, so they've been chipped. I don't know if they can do anything to even them all out or do anything at all with them. But like I said, at least I'll have some teeth on the side. So, it's, it feels weird. I guess it will for a while. But I can tell it's going to hurt so all the way in the back there. They'll have to adjust it. But uh, I'm real happy. I mean, if I didn't have, uh, if I didn't have the dental, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get them. There's no way. So, I just kind of get used to that feeling. That plastic doesn't feel the same as your, you know, top of your mouth. I mean, I have, like I said, I'll get used to that. Let's see if I can. Gotta use a polydent or something each night. He said, don't, they said, don't sleep in them with them on, but you could do something to them. I forget what she was saying. I guess people grind their teeth or I don't know, something or other. But um, I'm real happy so far. They said it would take at least a couple weeks to get the, lowers and uh, then I'll go back and get them done and I'll, like I said I'll, I don't think I'm going to make a special trip before then to have them adjust it but I'll be able to tell where it's hurting you know to uh, have them do that so it's a start I mean uh, the, the main reason I've had so many problems with my teeth is all the different meds I've been on they have uh, made my calcium real low and stuff, so my teeth weren't very strong. They were like, almost like brittle or something. And uh, it, would, it was easy. The things that, when I broke these pieces off, uh, I wasn't eating anything super, super hard, like a, I don't know, like a piece of hard candy or something like that. I wasn't you know, chewing on it like that. But I think it was, one time it was a mint, but they were those soft mints. The ones that are soft, puffs or whatever. And it, it, I couldn't believe it, you know. And a few other things, I can't remember that some, what I was eating the other times that I chipped some off. But this way, uh, it'll take the pressure off trying to chew on the front of my teeth for everything. And I, won't, I shouldn't chip them anymore at least. So they shouldn't get worse, if anything, you know. And I should be able to chew my food up good. I have to chew my food up really good with my Crohn's because I don't digest things well. So now I'll be able to really chew it up without it taking forever. It takes me forever to eat because of that. I'm trying to chew with my front teeth, you know, you just can't can't do it fast, you know. Or you'll chip. I've I've actually one of the ones I chipped I did from hitting my front teeth on it. And I heard it, you know, I felt something, you know, a little piece of tooth. It's hard to chew, like I said, with just your front teeth. You might do like an underbite doing something, trying to chew something up, and that's what happened, and they scrape. That's an awful sound in your, when you can hear that, scrape like that and break something. Okay, enough of that stuff. Should, should be doing good, though, after it's all over with, and, uh, I had them look at the little place on my tooth up here that my floss keeps getting caught on, and I thought, well, it must be, you know, uh, whatever, getting a cavity there. And uh, they said it was, see, I had them, they did a filling there, and they said it was filling material that's catching on. So, I mean, I don't have many teeth left, so I wanted to make sure I had it checked, you know. Yeah, I definitely have to get used to this. But I'm going to wear it, you know, so I'll be used, to, at least be used to the top part by the time I get the others. I'm not going to wear it all day long, but um, I'm going to try to wear as much as I can to get used to it and stuff. All right. that Now we come to today's question. It's just going to be a simple question today. Um, and it's just, are you looking forward to spring? I know 
I am because of uh, that's planting time. And I want to plant all that stuff and get my uh, new raised bed up out there, the metal one. It came, but there's no use in putting it up right now. You know, uh, my brother Scott will help me. Uh, he already told me he'd help me, and we got to get the, you know, uh, soil, and new soil and stuff for it. So, question of the day is, are you looking forward to spring? Okay. I don't think there's anything else. I'll do and ask my tablet. I don't think we have anything pressing to do today. Things are always subject to change with life with Mike. <laughs> so I, I'll tell you what I intend to do. And if it changes, don't get, please don't get upset. <laughs> uh, if, it, if it changes, it's usually for good reason, like a haul or something. But we've had enough hauls. We really have. So we're in good shape, though. I mean, I am. I used to be a more prepper. You know, where I had like the, I would get whole cases of MREs. I had, I think, eight cases at one time, which is a lot of them. And, uh, of course, we, we've eaten them all, and I've given them away since then. I gave a bunch of them away. Uh, but uh, I, I did, to you know, a little to the extreme, and it got a little expensive. Those aren't cheap meals, but they are good to have. They last years and years. But um, now I'm more like an emergency stockpile, you know, uh, like any item that might be hard to find in an emergency, such as the hand sanitizer, wipes, toilet paper, paper towels, facial tissue, uh, coffee. Uh, coffee, if you here, when this first happened with COVID, you couldn't find coffee hardly. If you did, it was, wasn't what you wanted. It'd be something you know, you didn't want to buy it. It just had to do it because it was there. But the coffee got gone even around here. And all the paper goods, even plates, anything paper goods was hard to find. Uh, so I, I don't keep really extra plates, so I, I probably need to work on that. But, uh, you know, anything like canned goods, dried beans, pasta, uh, you can store sugar, but it you'd have to take it out of the the package it's in and do something with it or it would get hard as a brick um things like that you know uh i don't have big quantities of beans and stuff like that but i do have i see one two three four there's four bags there and i think there's a couple more over there like six pound bags maybe or no those are a couple of them are two pound bags but that's about that would make a lot right there uh, if need be you know, and they last a long time. Uh, I probably need to get them out of the original packaging and put them in some type of a Tupperware thing to keep it more uh, dry. You know, it'll stay dry, but plastic does, isn't going to keep it, you know, from getting, getting old or whatever forever. If you can put it in something, you're better off. But, uh, you know, I, I have stocked up on a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know that's what when it comes time to needing it everybody will be saying you know what that was smart you know in my family and stuff and it's happened you know there's been lots of stuff that we were able to use for a long time where you couldn't get it especially when COVID first came around and stuff but um you know so there's nothing wrong with that you know uh, but uh I try to get it all on really good deals, and a lot of it I've got down here at Grocery Outlet as far as the canned goods and stuff like that because they got a good date on them even down there. A lot of the perishable stuff will be close dated down there, but the canned stuff, most of it, and the non-perishable has long expiration dates. So I think that's going to be about it for today. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed today's morning coffee break um i'm thinking things in my head already i should be paying attention to what i'm doing my mind goes 100 miles an hour all day i'll be talking and i'll be thinking of something that i'm going to do or you know what i mean I'm, I'm, I'm a step ahead of myself all the time 
But uh, <coughs> that's just the way I've always been. I can't help it. I'm just hyper kind of and uh, workaholic. So uh, anyways, uh, everybody, thanks a lot for watching. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out and share with everybody you know please and look at my teeth mm. <laughs> ah <laughs> it is nice after so long you know so I just can't wait to get to the lower the lower ones where I can give a big smile not worry about it and eat chew things up really good I might be able to even eat a peanut or something We'll see. All right, everybody. I'll see you later on doing one thing or the other. I'll probably do uh, the preview of the review before Ask My Tablet. So that, I imagine that would be the next thing I'll do. So I look forward to seeing you all later on. Thanks a lot. God bless.